Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have the iPhone 10 with me and just about two days ago I have upgraded this one uh, to the iOS 12 which is the latest version and just want to quickly share uh, my initial impressions with the same and uh, now Apple CarPlay actually works uh, with the Google Maps. I'll show you that in the later part of the video but first let's quickly talk about it and the first thing that I immediately noticed is that the UI is a lot more faster and more everything feels a lot more fluid now with this iOS uh, 12. I don't have uh, older iPhones uh, but uh, GID from Tech Trolls actually messaged me that he also upgraded his iPhone 5s and his cousin the iPhone 6s and they have also become significantly faster so this is after a long time that Apple has released a new iOS update that actually uh, tends to speed up your device so if you're even having an older iPhone I would say you can go ahead and update it and under the hood actually this is a big update uh, and the first thing is regarding notifications I don't have a lot of notifications but if you have a lot of notifications um, they just come uh, below one another for example if I have 10 notifications of Instagram earlier they used to come one below the other but now they will just stack uh, up like this so and if you have multiple notifications I don't have you can just tap in and it will open uh, so that way notifications have become a lot more easier and from here you you can actually control for example i'm getting this my atrial uh, my atl notification i can view it or manage it let's say i just don't want this so i can deliver it quietly so it doesn't make any noise and i can even turn it off and i can do other settings also for example let's say i don't want these my atl notifications i just simply don't like them i can remove it from notification center banners or i can completely switch them off so directly from this pane you can control the notifications. That's a big boon, I would say, in terms of notification. The second biggest thing that I have uh, noticed is uh, in terms of battery stats, generally iPhones were never good. They didn't provide a good, of, a good amount of battery stats. But with this iOS 12 update, things have changed quite a bit. And if you go to battery, uh, obviously it shows you battery health also minus at 98% if you have an older phone it might drop to about 10% also so don't be alarmed but yeah it gives you an idea about the maximum capacity and uh, down if you go it gives you these graphs which are actually missing and if you have used an android phone use we used to always get those graphs so it gives you an idea again last 24 hours it gives you an idea how much you have used uh, the phone screen on and these are the apps and stuff this is nothing that new i would say apart from the graphs this is what you, we used to get but now if we go back over here and if you go to screen time here you get a lot of interesting stats for example as you can see it's mentioning me that from the last night for example i took it out of charge i've used the phone for about three hours 20 uh, and two minutes and it uh, divides it between social networking entertainment and productivity for example if i click over here it gives me a detailed statistics when I was actually using the phone early morning as you can see the morning I got up I was using the phone quite a bit and it divides it between the social networking how much entertainment and as you can see it shows you the category if I click over here it shows us the category social networking whatever and if you just I'll just remove that for the now time being and these are the app specific again you'll uh, know uh, for example I was spending a lot of time on Twitter Instagram and stuff and YouTube and this is also an interesting thing it shows you in the number of pickups that you have done and the amount of notifications that you are getting so again you'll know uh, from which app you're getting the most notification for example obviously whatsapp and gmail are my highest but other uh, uh, apps also as you can see these were giving me notification so now uh, this one is giving us a lot of in-depth information about our uh, usage so again this is a very good uh, thing and you can also restrict uh, uh, and the amount of time actually used per app i haven't done that that is known as app limit and let's say you can add uh, app limit. for example let's say on social networking uh, or entertainment you don't want to to spend a lot of uh, time i can set up so daily let's say if i spend over like two hours it will warn me so again you can even add these i haven't done that but again uh, if you're using the phone a lot and want to restrict that you can eventually uh, actually now do that so i feel uh, this is a very good uh, addition and now frankly uh, they are giving us a lot of useful actually you can also uh, passcode protect this if you want and share this info across devices so again i like this uh, functionality uh, so they have done it actually in a very good manner in my frank opinion now another small thing that i've noticed is that now the camera when you click on it it opens almost instantly as you can see earlier there was a half a second delay or something but now it almost opens instantly and i've heard that even on older iphones uh, the speed of opening the uh, camera 
has improved drastically so that is also one more thing uh, that you will notice and uh, they're also added this new app that is known as measure let me see if it will work for example if i bring an object over here uh, let's try with a smaller one and let's try and this is a measure app that they have added and you can use this to measure stuff as you can see it's trying to detect that and add a point it says for uh, rectangular objects i would say it's a lot more easier and as you can see now i can move around and gives me an idea how big this is obviously on camera it's a little bit different difficult but as you can see you can do that for example let's bring something else i'll just remove that and i have this as you can see it automatically detected it uh, let me just bring it around the camera yeah if you guys can see it's trying to detect that obviously i'm trying to do it uh, in front of the camera that's so as you can see you easily can use this to measure stuff as you can see now it gives you an idea how much is this so this is also also a cool app and this comes uh, free with ios uh, 12 i'm not very sure if this will uh, work on older iphones but yeah on iphone 10 it is working and the biggest uh, upgrade personally for me is if you use uh, carplay your uh, uh, car has support for uh, carplay earlier in india you had to only rely on apple maps and sadly that was not working in india but now actually google map works and let me actually show you the same so guys i have connected the iphone and this is the apple uh, carplay as you can see and earlier we didn't have google maps as navigation now we have with ios 12 and i'm just going to try to do that uh, the thing is it doesn't work with siri so you have to actually go here and in the add destination now you can add Add where you want to actually go so that's how you have to do it and uh, these are the options that we have so I have to click this add navigation or click over here Bashir Bagh so as you can see it has got the information now it gives you us uh, idea how much time it will take and if I hit go head southwest then turn right so guys as you can see I'm just going to uh, use this and everything actually works turn by turn navigation and uh, it prompts so only thing is that I can't use it with Siri if I use Siri it will just revert back to uh, what do you say Apple Maps that simply does not work in India but again using this manually you have to just set uh, where you want and it is working perfectly turn and I, right onto Narayan Guda Main Road then at center cafe Narayan Guda Main Road turns left and becomes King Koti Road so as you can see I'm just following it and it is working perfectly so now uh, this was a big limitation with the uh, Apple devices with uh, CarPlay they only relied on Apple Maps now at least in India we can use uh, Google Maps and it works perfectly as you can see again you can just go back here and your regular Apple interfaces there if you click back you're back to this one so that was Apple uh, CarPlay and works brilliantly with uh, Google Maps uh, and uh, now moving to some of the downsides that I have noticed uh, I'm noticing on my iPhone uh, 10 the battery life has sort of reduced uh, anywhere between 10 to 15 percent uh, with this new iOS 12 update uh, uh, so again uh, I don't know how it's the situation for others but that's what I am actually noticing and this is also one more thing that I have noticed uh, these are Apple uh, AirPods and I use them and I've been using them for quite some time and they work perfectly fine with this uh, iPhone not a problem at all uh, but what I'm noticing is that after this iOS 12 update the sound profile with these actually changed a little bit the bass is now a little bit less and I did test this even on my iPad Pro which I upgraded to iOS 12 and I noticed the same different uh, thing I don't know why it's happening but that is also one more thing that I've noticed with AirPods the bass quality has definitely reduced with iOS 12 anyways apart from that it's a very good upgrade and in fact I'm surprised that the iOS 12 upgrade uh, works great even for older smartphones and in fact many users are reporting that the general UI operations uh, on older iPhones like the iPhone 6 iPhone 6x has actually become faster because of this ios 12 update but would love to know your thoughts about the battery life what is your experience in terms of battery life after this ios 12 update so guys that's it for now for this uh, quick update with ios 12 i will also be unboxing and uh, reviewing the new iphones i should be getting them very soon guys so again stay tuned to the channel thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video take care guys